Welcome to August 14th, 2008. Again, time for the Lord's Care Ministry. A light shining from above, day 227 of the year 2008. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Now over in Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 13. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, the earth, and break forth with singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Now Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Psalms chapter 28 and verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices. And with my song I will praise him. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 10. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom is decking himself with ornaments, and as a bride is adorning her, adorning herself with jewels. Romans chapter 15 and verse 17. I have therefore whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ those things which pertain to God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 11. We joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement. Romans chapter 5 and verse 11. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Habitation chapter 3 and verse 18. Sorrows of the believer. Christ is an example to the afflicted. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. Even hereunto were you called because Christ also suffered for us leaving us an example that you should follow in his steps. Our glorious leader claims our praise for his own pattern given, while the long cloud of witnesses show the same path to heaven. In God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Praise God for his word. Now turn over to Luke chapter 21 and verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall never pass away. Brethren, I'm asking you, do you follow Christ's words or the tradition of men? If you're following Christ's words, he will bestow the blessings upon you. But if you are following the traditions of men, you will get the plagues as promised throughout his book. By that traditions of men, I mean, are you following the Lord's Sabbath or Baal's Sabbath? You say you go... Go to church on the first day of the week that you call Sunday. And that in itself names what it is, is a day of the sun. S-U-N, not S-O-N. Do you follow Christmas, Easter, New Year's? Brethren, do you worship on the day of the dead, Halloween? You say, well, that's just fun for kids. You are teaching them the way of Baal. Brethren, if you'd rather follow the Lord and truly in your heart want to change, 
get down on your knees and repent. And the Father and the Son will come into you and give you the wisdom of understanding. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close it off for today. You have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. So God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.